restrictions in place, Governor Ron DeSantis issuing a stay away order. The executive order targeting travelers from the emerging epicenter of the coronavirus, New York City. Governor DeSantis explaining what this order would mean for those who choose to travel to the Sunshine State anyways. I issued an executive order requiring everybody arriving from the New York City area to self-quarantine for 14 days. We have National Guard and some other health folks at the airports. All these folks are having, uh, they're in for, they have to provide information. They have to provide a place where they'll be self-isolating. Um, and that is enforceable under the executive order. But some find the decree a bit too draconian, even unconstitutional. Preventing interstate travel infringes on the right to freedom of association, something the U.S. Supreme Court allows only when there is convincing and reliable evidence that those entering are actually ill. Instead of offering relief, this new order is putting the state in a bit of a legal quagmire to help sort it out for us. Let's go to Brian Claypool. He is a criminal defense attorney. I mean, I guess the question, Brian, is, first of all, thank you so much for joining us as always. Does Thor Florida have the legal authority to make people quarantine for 14 days, American citizens who come from elsewhere? Hey, Trace, good to be with you. Hope you're staying safe. This kind of executive order by the governor of Florida is the, probably the most extreme measure we've ever seen. I mean, even these stay-at-home shelter orders are very extreme as well. And you still have constitutional rights, even when these governors issue these broad and excessive uh, executive orders. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the people traveling from New York clearly have a constitutional right, like you said, mm -hmm. freedom of association is one, the Commerce Clause. And then on top of that, Trace, you've got what's called the Privileges and Immunity Clause, which I guarantee you some mm -hmm. folks traveling from New York are going to invoke. And what that means is a state cannot discriminate against citizens from another state for any reason, including yeah. a medical issue. So I think yeah. what's going to happen here is if, if, if somebody takes this case up, I think the U.S. Supreme Court is going to say exactly what you said, which is you have to have, as the governor of, of Florida, clear and convincing evidence that the right. people that are entering from New York actually have symptoms consistent with COVID-19. Right. If they don't, and you can't quarantine them for 14 days, and you can't stop them from coming into Florida. Let me play you the flip side of the argument now, Brian, because this is Governor DeSantis again kind of giving what his reasoning is for this. Watch, and we'll get your opinion. You can't get a flight from Milan to Florida. You can't get a flight from China to Florida or anywhere in the country. But somehow you can just do 200 flights, direct flights into various parts of Florida from a hotspot that's much more significant right now than Milan or than, than China. If you were in New York State, you left when you were told to shelter in place. Um, you defied that, and then you got on a plane and came here. Um, and so we don't want there to be any fallout here in the state of Florida from that. I mean, he's right when he says, look, you can't come from China. You can't come from another hotspot. And New York right now is the epicenter. And they've been, they've been telling you in New York to shelter in place and not to spread the disease. And if you get on a plane, one, you could be spreading the disease by getting on a plane. And two, you go to Florida and then you're walking on a beach in Fort Lauderdale three and a half hours later. Th there's clearly a, a, a very robust debate about this, Brian. Yeah, Trace, the, the problem with that logic, though, is that only the federal government, only President Trump has the authority to limit, for example, flights coming in from other countries into the United States. So to make that analogy uh, is inappropriate. The fact of the matter is that the, a, any governor from any state cannot enlist this broad sweep, one size fits all formula to stop having citizens from other states coming in. I mean, imagine what that would do, Trace, to not only limiting people from traveling the country, but also that, that could backfire for the mm -hmm. governor of Florida and cripple his economy. I mean, I think at least 10 to 14 percent of, of revenue is generated in Florida right. from people traveling from New York. He's got to factor that in well. Look, at the end of the day, the better way to do this is to filter people coming in, take their temperature, and, and, and you've got social distancing orders in place in, in, in Florida. And Trace, how are you going to enforce this anyway? People driving into Florida? I mean, what are you going to do? Block the yeah. block the interstates and talk to every single person 
and take their temperature, it's not practical either. No, it's the honor system like it is much of the country. People are on the honor system in Southern California, all over the place where you've got these breakouts. So, yeah, I mean, enforcement, you're right. The mechanism is not in place. And I was going to ask you, what is, as a defense attorney, what's your recommendation? What would you tell your clients that are going to fly from New York to Florida? Hey, you know, you shouldn't just go out and willy-nilly in the population. So what do you tell them logically, if not legally? Well, I, I, anybody who wants to travel to Florida from New York, I, I would tell somebody right now to file uh, in federal court a request for a, a preliminary injunction uh, to stop the governor of Florida from doing this. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, and, and in fact, that was done recently, Trace, in, in New Hampshire by several people that wanted to, to attend a political gathering. It's a little bit different than here with right. travel. But I think you need to be pr proactive, file something in court, uh, and get an injunction that I think would be granted. This is unconstitutional. Mm. And, and otherwise, Trace, well, you're, you're, you're playing Russian roulette. You fly down there. They're going to order you to quarantine. And then what happens then? I, I mean, you're going to be stuck for 14 days. It'd be hard to do anything at that point. Yeah, it's a fascinating debate. Brian Claypool, always good to talk to you, sir. Thank you.